Steve. Hey. First of all, I'd like to congratulate Tommy on uh, Special Teams Player of the Week. Pretty awesome. Good. Coach, with all the noise that's going on, and we've talked throughout the season about Harrison Bunker missing the kick. So, how much of it is mental? How much of it is physical? And, you know, was it laces up, in, out, towards him, or whatever? How do you clean whatever's going on? before the playoff starts so it doesn't affect the team? Well, we got three more weeks left here, and I told Bucker, I said, this is just like preseason. We're getting ready for the pro season, you know, and uh, we're going we're gonna to attack it that way. We're going to improve. We're going to improve each week, and we need to look at the whole thing, the whole operation, blocking, snapping, holding, kicking. And we're going to keep working at it, and, uh, you know, we'll fix it. Are you comfortable with the holds? Yes. Uh, yeah, I'm very comfortable with the holds. How, how much of it is snapping? How much of it is? The uh, it's. I'm not going to break it down, you know, a percentage, but you know, everybody has a hand in it. You know, I mean, if if you make field goals, it's it's the, it's the protection's got to be good, the snaps got to be good, and the kicks got to be good. The hole's got to be great. You know, I mean, and there's a lot into it that goes. You know, and, and Colquitt is definitely right as far as how much detail there is involved in it. And there's a lot. Uh, you know, but I mean, everybody has an important job. I mean. Uh, Winchester with the snap. I mean, he's got to he's got to be perfect on those on the rotation of the ball. I mean, that's that's where this thing's gotten to now. And, you know, the, it's such a science that uh, you know he has that thing perfectly rotated by the time he catches it, so he can try to get it down and the laces are pointed away. Sometimes it doesn't happen. Sometimes the laces are are pointed at him and he's got to spin it and get it out. You know, so everybody's got to work together to get this thing uh, you know perfected and and we will. You referenced Dustin's comments. I mean, he, his, he got kind of very you know, uh, you know, specific about things. Rotating yeah. the ball different ways. You know, he's talking about a clock going Yeah, exactly. I mean, he was, he, he's just trying to show you how detailed it is, and I think that's great. You know, he, he's, he's, you know he, he did a great job for us. You know, he's a, he's a Chiefs fan. He's a Bucker fan, most importantly. Um, you know, and, you know, everybody has their opinion, and, He's absolutely right. There's a lot of detail that goes into it, and you know it doesn't go unknown or unseen by us. Sure. You know, I don't need to hear it from Dustin to, you know, to make adjustments. <laughs> uh, just so everybody knows that. I mean, we're we're we we see it. We're coaching them. You know, and and that's where we are. My, my guess, my question is, can Tommy spin both ways? Yes. Yeah. I mean, it depends on you know if the laces are, you know, if they're say they're at you know four o'clock or or, uh, or eight o'clock. You know, he can he can spin it back around this way. If they're you know back here, he'll he'll spin it here. So he push it and pull it according to what he, whatever he needs to get him away from Bucker's uh, you know from his foot being able to hit it. How hard is that? Like, how much time does that take? I mean, I that's, don't know. That it's something? fast. I mean, it's you know he, you catch it and he'll he'll know as soon as he catches it, he'll know where the lace he, he can feel it, and he knows if he has to spin it or not. So I mean, that's how many reps. When we've got thousands and thousands of reps at this, that's why it's important that I mean that's why you see punters being the holder. You know, in the past, it used to be quarterbacks were able to do them. They just didn't get enough practice doing it. Now, you know, it's the punters because they're out there all the time. They can work together, and it's such a science. Um, you know, it, it has to be him, and, 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 he's, and he's a very good holder. Make no mistake. If the laces aren't right, what's the expectation then, for whatever reason, for laces? Okay, if the right? laces are not right, if they're totally right at Bucker and he hits the laces, that, that could be a problem, you know, because it could deflect off his foot. Uh, if the laces are pointed one way or the other, uh, the science of it is not exact. I mean, as long as he is, is able to hit the ball, it doesn't distract him. He's still able to make the kick. Harrison you know, it's not it's not a physic physic thing where you know the, if they're pointed here, the ball's going to go that way. He hits that ball. It doesn't you know the laces don't have that much impact. It's more of a visual uh, vision thing. You know, the fact that he would be kicking the laces that's that's the dangerous thing. Harrison mentioned yesterday just not wanting to reinvent the wheel so late in the season. How, how much right. do you have to fight maybe not, not changing and just kind of getting the reps? Uh, you know, we, you, you got to look at it and you got to see what you're doing, whether it's practice reps or it's um, are you doing too much, are you doing too little, um, you know, where you're spending your time. So that's, that's my job. I mean, that's, that's what we do and, and we'll, get it, we'll get it straightened out. I mean, Bucker's still a great kicker, you know, and you know, we're not losing any faith in Bucker going forward. And, I want everybody to relax. <laughs> but you did say you, you did say that uh, Coker is a big fan of Bucker. I'm going to presume he's a big fan of Tommy Townsend as well. But to that point, when you talk about the missed kicks and what they're doing, when you go back on film, what are you seeing from game to game to game that would, you know, I guess, give you 
uh, assurances that you know things will get cleaned up between now and the it's, start it's, of the it's Bucker's it's Bucker's history. It's what he is. I mean, he's made uh, game-winning kicks for us. I mean, he's got you know I say this before. He's got pelts on the wall. He's got that, and and we trust him, and 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 he's going to get it fixed. You know, we we will get it fixed. The group. Well, you guys grade these things. I assume everything's graded. You grade the snap on the rotations. Sure. And yeah. then it's a great, if, it's a, if it's not a great snap, it holds harder. I and mean, all these things kind of yes. work together. When you go back and, and, and grade these things, I mean, how close are you guys to where you need to be? Uh, without getting into specifics of who did what, and you know, I mean, because I, I see where you're trying to go there, but uh, it's. We, we are we are close. I mean, we are close. I mean, Bucker, you know, he's got a lot of, you know, the injury, you know, all that stuff. All those things come into play here, you know. He mentioned to us yesterday, he's, he's tried really hard the last couple of years to, to not even see the laces, right? He's focusing on this little bitty piece of ground there. He's just got to trust that it's not going to be there. You right. Know? You just have to do that. Yeah, and that's, is that's, that something that you've been coaching for years with kickers? Don't yes. look at that part of it. Yes. You just got to find this little spot down there and do it. Is it some guys are... He's better at putting that part of it away, I guess, than others. It's got to be half the same metal on this part. Of it. Most of it's metal. Most of it's metal. Uh, Dave, uh, I, I appreciate you earlier explaining why quarterbacks are no longer holders. With that said, obviously we've seen Harrison have to miss some time. Obviously Justin Reed has you know, emerged as like that emergency kicker for maybe that day. If Tommy's unavailable, who would be the backup holder, considering, like you said, that operation needs so much time together? Yeah, that's, I mean, once you get to the emergency state, which that would be, uh, or, I mean, it would be uh, uh, Marcus Kemp is our holder. What, what, what makes him the man for that? Particular uh, he's got great hands, and he's a student of it, and he's practiced it, and we trained in the training camp. We worked on that. Coach, yep. the aspect of how punting can help win games, I think, is overlooked sometimes. But there's been numerous times this season where Tommy has come up with a huge punt in a big moment. I think about the Chargers game in week two. Yep. Uh, and last week in overtime, putting him at their 13-yard line. What's that say about Tommy this year in big moments? Consistency. I mean, when I first stood up here in the beginning of the season, everybody said, what's going to be the difference with Tommy this year? You know, it's going to be his consistency because we've seen flashes of him being great. But he's, his consistency is, is what really stands out this year. Um, you, you look at his charts and, and his grades that I have on my board, and it's just above average all the way across. And you know, and if not, if not that, he's he's getting you know special teams player of the week, which is uh, probably the greatest honor somebody can get. You know, and he's gotten it for the month too in September. So I mean, it says a lot about his year. He's had a Pro Bowl year, um, you know, and he's been a major factor for us on special teams this year. Coach, what's uh, Seattle's biggest thing on special teams? Something about Seattle, ah, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. They, they they fly around. I mean, they fly around. Uh, Larry Izzo is the coach. Larry Izzo was a an ex, uh, you know, a great special teams player in his day. Coached against him a bunch. Uh, he's got those guys uh, playing with their hair on fire. I mean, they just fly around. And and the thing that we have to deal with this game is that we're going to have to return every kick and we're going to have to cover every kick because of the cold. You know the cold really affects the ball. It's not doesn't fly like it like it does. So, um, you know it's going to be fun for us. We're looking forward to this one. How much is practicing inside going to affect the operation with, with the cold coming? Yeah, I mean you you can't. I mean we can't get outside. Or get, the guys would just be trying to survive out there. You know, and it's really about focus. You have to learn the game plan, and everybody has to deal with the cold, and we'll we'll manage that. We've had a lot of cold games, so um, yeah, it's 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 a factor. It's going to be a factor, and uh, you know everybody will deal with it. Last one, Lebo. Oh, one of the things that. Harrison was telling us yesterday was about the kind of PSI. Like when you get this yeah, cold weather, that's right. It's 13. They measure them inside. It, what what can happen during the game? Can you guys say these are really flat? I mean, I don't want to get all the Clinton, <laughs> but uh, it, it, yeah, it's, yeah. it's a this is the coldest game you're going to have in, yep. in quite a while. Right? Yeah, the, the the bag that they put the, the balls in don't don't have a heater in it. You know, so they're going to be you know they're going to adjust to whatever the weather is. So, but they will deflate a little bit. I mean, that's just physics. So. I mean, there's not much we can do about that. Thanks, Coach. Thanks. Thanks, everybody.